So now we know that how do we commit messages, how do we merge our commits and how do we do each and everything with the commit almost. So let's uh, look at the dot .git ignore file. So for that what I'm going to do, I'm going to create a new directory inside this directory itself. So let's call this directory, so make the personal or let's call this private. And we see that we have this directory here that is called private and let's create uh, another file inside our working directory here or let's uh, uh, cd into this private directory and let's create a couple of files here so touch index dot uh, index dot js and touch private dot js and so on and so forth so we see that we have these two files here and now let's try to add something inside our main dot js so what we can say we can simply say const uh something equal to something something like this and let's write something inside our css so let's say body is uh, background color would be say uh, red for now it doesn't matter that whatever we write here so now let's close the style.css file main.js and the index.html also because we are not interested in them right now so now what i'll do so now let's uh, check back into our directory that is the main directory and let's clear out the console here and now what i'll do i'll simply do git status and we see that we have these two new files which existed in uh, which exist in our private directory and we have modified these two files so now what we can do if we want to add all the files what we can do we can simply do git add dot oh, sorry git add dot like this and let's do get status one more time and so what happens here is that that these two new files are also added to our repository or to our git uh, git version control thing here but we do not want to do that we want to remove these two files from here so what we can do we can simply say git removed rm hyphen hyphen cached and then the folder name we want to remove and in our case it is private like this and let's press enter and this won't be re uh, removed because this is a folder here. So what we need to pass, we need to pass here a uh, hyphen R flag also that is recursively. So if we do it like this and now this these two files are removed from the staging area and now if we do get status then we see only these two files are on the staging area and if we make a commit then only these two files will be added to the commit. So for a purpose, I'm going to remove these two files also. So git removed main.js and the style.css like this. And we need to use the cached flag also. C, uh, ch cached flag also like this. And now if we do git status, we see that each and every file is here. That is all the files are untracked here. So this private folder is never added to the version control system. So for that, what we need to do, we need to simply do touch dot get ignore. That is, I'm creating a file called dot get ignore. And here we see that we have this get ignore file. And now what I want to do, I want to, I do not want to include my private folder in version control thing. So what I'll do, I'll simply write the private name here. That is the folder name and let's press save. And we see that our dot get ignore file is safe. And now if we do get status, we only see this thing here. That is these files are untracked files. That is the new file get ignore we just created main.js and style.css. And previously it was private folder also. So now even if we create a new file here that is inside our root directory that is touch private.js or private something.js we see that this is a new file here and if we do get status we see that this file is again tracked that is private something.js so if we do not want to track this file so what we can do we can simply copy this file name from here and we'll simply paste this file name on a new line inside our dot get ignore file and now let's press save to our get ignore file and now if we do get status we see that this file isn't being tracked anymore So this is how we can use the git ignore file for a particular file or for a folder containing files. 
So now what we can do, we can simply do git add dot to add all the files and we can make a commit here. So git commit hyphen m added dot git ignore like this. And then we have our commit there and our working tree is clean by doing git status. So this is how we use the dot git ignore file.